welcome back to my youtube channel guys so previously we talked about how to link a payment gateway to your file uh, to your upwork account <clears throat> so now i what i did on our account i requested a name change on my account and i was told after 48 hours my account name will be changed successfully so so far so good here is uh the name of my account has been changed successfully so if i want to link the payment method now i can link it successfully without any issues i get me so uh, i don't want to link that payment method to this account again so i link it to my former account so here's my former account which i linked my payment method to so here's my former account so i link the bank payment method i link this to my former account so i'm showing you guys how what i did here so yeah here's my account so get paid get paid so can you see i've linked my uh, back account so here's my back account i've linked it to this account and it has been linked successfully so I, I i won't be charged for withdrawing i won't be charged two dollar for withdrawing to my back account because this is a us back account i linked to my uh to my upwork account so i won't be charged for withdrawing to this account and i've been using this card payment method before so far so if i'm able to because if i'm able to uh withdraw to this account successfully so once I make a withdrawal to this account successfully, then I'm going to remove this card and add this to my uh, new account, the one I'm using for the training. So I'm going to add this to my account, to my new account, so that uh, you guys will be able to see how I link payment method successfully. So uh, I think we are done with that. We are done with that, and you can see the payment method. Uh, the payment of uh, uh, transact my transaction on this account this is my former account so uh my last payment was 46 dollar which i withdraw so this is my uh withdrawal so far my transaction so far on this account so this is where you see all the transactions so far in this account so uh back to my training account when i'm using for training so now after you set everything up perfectly and completely after you set up your Upwork account and you know your Upwork account is perfect and is ready to be displayed for your uh, customers to view your recent work, your past work, and be able to check your profile and see how professional it is, then you cannot proceed to sending a proposal on Upwork, which is going to find work. So now, how do you now look for, how do you send proposal? So I won't be doing how to send the proposal in this video. My next video will contain how to send proposal on Upwork. How to send proposal on Upwork. But I'm just giving an hint on the next video. So how it will be. So I'll teach you how to uh, send an offer. Uh, the way to uh, whom you are sending the offer to. Based on your selection. Based on the uh, service you are rendering. Because here I'm rendering a service called uh, e-commerce development and uh, and it's marketing can you see so e-commerce store development and marketing so that's what i'm uh, rendering on this account so based on your own account based on what you choose be the one you want to be rendering so this is what i'm rendering on this account so uh i'll be ending this video in a moment and um, I'm giving you a hint as well on after creating, after teaching you how to send a proposal on, on Upwork, you can as well create gig, which we call projects. So here is it. The same way we create gig on Fiverr, the same way we create gig here on Upwork as well. You can create a gig on Upwork. So, but we we'll call it project here on Upwork. You can create it uh, on Upwork as well. So how do you not create a project? This is where you create a project. So create a create a project but i won't be showing you how to create the project here so uh, that will be done in in my next video after how to send a proposal so
thank you guys for uh watching see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so why are you subscribing because you, so that you can get an update on my next video on this freelancing site because i'll be doing more video on freelancing websites in which I'm, I'm 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 getting so for those people who are in, into logo design i will make a video on a class somewhere you can sell your logo design or those people who suggest brand name if you are if a kind of person that suggests people brand names uh create logo for them so uh, i have a website for you where you can sell your services so uh after I've, i'm done with upwork so i will uh, pause a bit on the video and upwork for a while and go on to new freelancing sites for you people to be able to render your services as well for those people who are not uh able to get buy connect on upwork so i'll be able to just give you other freelancing sites where you can uh grow freely and render your services without buying connect without paying to send the proposal because here on upwork if you don't buy connect you can send the proposal here on upwork if your connect is is, is finished when, once you exhaust your connect on upwork then you can send proposal apart from not being able to send proposal you won't as well be able to get this badge anymore which is the availability badge so here is the availability badge so you won't be able to see the availability badge on your profile anymore because it will be off so this is what i mean by the av available uh availability badge because the available badge uses connect can you see it uses connect so it uses six connect per week for it to be turned on so which means the it, it is uh, one connect is being charged daily for you having this available badge so you can increase the uh, amount of uh, of connect it charges weekly so you can turn it off and you can set the maximum for it so that's the work of the connect that's the work of the connect and if you are the kind of person that have more fund more budget with you you can just go to the you can leave the free uh version of upwork uh, i mean the free plan and move to the paid plan where you'll be able to get 80 connect per month but this free account you'll be able to get just 10 connect every single month 10 free connect every single month but if you're the kind of person i don't want to wait on getting connect uh getting free connect from upwork you, you want to send your proposal you want to be able to send proposal and get receive project you have to invest on your uh upwork account with connect and i've shown you the uh amount of uh charges for each connect if you want to buy connect on upwork i've shown you the amount it do charges in in dollars and cents so that's that about that so and to those who want to get a portfolio make sure you your post your portfolio are based on the service you are rendering make sure everything on your account if you want to make sales you want to get approved uh, get projects on upwork make sure your account is uh is updated with relevant skills you are you've attached to your website uh to your upwork freelancing account because if you're a kind of person that is rendering uh logo designing and you put the portfolio of logo designing and you added another service to your account apart from logo designing that means you're not your account is not professional enough once a client sees your profile the clients will be confused and won't be able to uh, uh give you a project they won't be able to send you uh accept your proposal because your uh your profile is not speaking the skills you you attach to your profile so your profile must be relevant and be in accord with the skill set you've added to your account as you can see uh my account is based on e email uh, e-commerce e store sorry e-commerce store development and digital marketing and as you all know in digital marketing we have different subcategories under digital marketing in in this digital marketing it comprises of all marketing strategies be it email marketing the web traffic social media marketing and other sales funnel uh 
anything comprises of marketing is that's the that the category for it is data marketing and e-commerce store development e-commerce store development has carried uh, along every e-commerce store be it squarespace uh shopify woocommerce which is wordpress wix and others webly and others they are all called an e-commerce website so i've carried them along as my categories and i listed those skills i listed they are the subcategories under both e-commerce and digital marketing so make sure you you are aware of this as a freelancer you must know what category is and what subcategories are you must know uh the categories of uh the service you want to render and what subcategories are listed under the service you are rendering as a freelancer if you are the type of person that is rendering uh a video that means under the video that's right uh animation stuff like that you should be able to know that you'll be having video editing animation video uh whiteboard animation uh, and anything comprises of video that's under the video category so um, if you want to know more much about these categories and some categories fiverr makes it very much simple i can let me show you how it is displayed on, on fiverr so here yeah, is fiverr.com so uh, i just want to give you a hint on how everything is on fiverr so this fiverr.com uh let me search for let me just come in okay i think i have uh, so yeah sorry let me use this so these are the uh categories of services on fiverr fiverr has one two three four five six seven eight nine nine categories under this graphics and design under graphics and design so this is programming and tech so yeah it is very simple you know so this is graphics and design this is the marketing this is writing and translation this is video animation this is music and audio programming and tech business lifestyle trending uh, we can leave this out so we can make use of one two three four five six seven eight now under this graphics and design this is a category anybody rendering graphics and design under this graphics and design, we have different subcategories of services under graphics and design. We have different services subcategory. We have a lot of it. So now under this graphics and design, these are subcategories under graphics and design. We have the logo design, branding, style guide, front end, uh, topography, business card, stuff like that. We have gaming, game art, anything related to design, uh, logo design book cover design flyer banner design stuff like that those are what is under this graphics and design can you see so you can see all of them we have your version design we have your jewelry design and others so that's that about graphics and design now under the data marketing which i made mention of earlier which uh, is one of the services i'm rendering so under this data marketing we have the social media marketing we have social media advertisements we have seo we have marketing strategy which is known to be sales funnel so we have the public relation we have guest posting we have video and video marketing we have email marketing we have web analytics we have crowdfunding uh we have marketing advice we have sem which is search engine marketing we have display advertising we have e-commerce marketing which is one of the services i'm rendering we have influencer marketing we have uh community management we have mobile app marketing anything related to marketing under this digital marketing same thing goes with writing and translation right under writing and translation we have different categories of services we have the article and others so if you are uh, a freelancer you must know all this so you you can just come on to fiverr and check all these things out so that you can know uh the services you are rendering which categories it belongs to and uh, subcategories under it so you can uh be able to leverage your, your services so you can be able to uh under the sub subcategories of services you know you can be able to know more about other skills under that particular service you are rendering so so that you can be able to upsell i will teach you how to upsell your buyers as well when you are 
uh, you have been working with because I've done some projects as well on Fiverr and on Upwork, mainly on Fiverr. So I've upsell Upwork, though I'm just uh, working on Upwork because I just started working on it this year. I've created the account long ago, which is that my old account. I've created the, uh, uh, the account, I think, around 2020. So I've created it around 2020, but I left the account and was doing other things. So I took the account up this 2022. I was able to uh, make some dollars on that account so i will show you the other account when i want to create my uh when i'm sending proposal when i want to teach you how to reply a message professionally on upwork after you have sent your what your proposal so i will show you that on other videos so you can be able to know more about that so uh not to make this video long so i'll be ending this video yeah i've shown you the uh, skills cells you need to use on your fiber account so back to my upwork account I, as you can see i've seen it here so uh, on this my profile you can just easy navigation to the pro your project catalog which is manage your projects where you want to create your gig so that's that about that and this, this testimonial you can request a testimonial from people even for from yourself you can request a testimonial for you to review yourself you can just send it to your email, your colleagues, your family and friends, for them to review, uh, uh, make a testimonial about you on Upwork so that your buyer can be able to trust you. These are what your buyers will see. These are what your clients will see for them to be able to trust you that you can handle their project professionally. So that's that about that. So thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dave Heroic. And also turn on the bell for you to be able to receive notification on my next videos when I when I uploaded uh when I upload those videos so that you can able to know get a notification that I've uh, added a new video to my channel. So thank you once again, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.